So that demon got into me that day and I just wanted to see through, to know who was in the other bedroom. I knew it was a lady, so I just wanted to see through. I was trying to peep through to see who was in the other bedroom. And while I was doing all that, I think the lady noticed. This is one of the dumb things I did before I gave my life to Christ. Many years back, I was staying with one of my uncle then in a face me and face you apartment. You know, having neighbors in the same compound where you stay, we share almost everything together. Bedroom, kitchen, toilet, we share everything together. And in this particular compound, it's a two-story building apartment and at the down floor there's about four tenants you know some tenants are having just one room why my uncle then was having a room and parlor at the first floor i think about three or four tenants as well then at the last floor upstairs i think it was about four tenants or about so every neighbor in each floor shares the same bedroom toilet and kitchen together so on this faithful day i wanted to go and have my shower before going to bed which i usually do at night before going to bed so someone was at the other bedroom and i went into the second bedroom it was about three bedroom or there about three to four bedroom then with to toilet I think so I went into the other bedroom and so the way the bedroom was built there is like a barricade molded with blocks in between the bedroom but it has space at the top so it's just like you can see through from the top of the bedroom to the other bedroom and the sewage where the water flows through is at the bottom so the person in the other bedroom, water will be flowing through my own bedroom. <laughs> you know, all this kind of construction. And while I was in my own bedroom, I don't know what got into me that day because, and this is much reason why it is important that every man give their life to Christ because we all need the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit to guide us, to lead us to instruct us, to direct us, to tell us when we're about to do something that is terrible and when we're about to do something that is right. Because then I was just doing things on my own. I was just doing things like a normal person, you know. And that's why the scripture says what is born of flesh is flesh. What is born of spirit is spirit. I was born of flesh and I was being instructed to do whatever I was doing to my flesh so that demon got into me that day and i just wanted to see through to know who was in the other bedroom and i knew it was a lady so i just wanted to see through i was trying to peep through to see who was in the other bedroom and while i was doing all that i think the lady noticed and she finished up went out of our bedroom and she stayed out to see whoever is in the other bedroom and at this point i know i've messed up going out of the bedroom is now a problem for me and i was there for some time and later i came out immediately she saw the person that came out of the bedroom she eased and she went off and at that point, I knew I have done something stupid, which I was not supposed to do. And that was because I was living according to the flesh. The Bible says we should walk according to the spirit, so that we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. But I was walking according to the flesh, so I could not control myself, and I fulfilled the lust of the flesh. She reported the issue to her parents, and her parents discussed with my uncle, and... 
you know, I felt so terrible, I felt so bad. And all this happened because I have not met Christ and I was not born again. So I was just living like a normal man. And the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, that the man without the spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God because they are spiritually discerned and he cannot understand them. And it was after I gave my life to Christ that I started to understand that giving your life to Christ actually helps you to control your flesh. When we say the word flesh, it doesn't mean that it is something bad. Flesh simply means your body. And you killing the flesh does not mean that you you kill your body like your body stop functioning, but you will not allow your flesh to decide what you are to do. That is what it means to kill the flesh. So I started to learn how to kill the flesh, how to not allow what my flesh wants me to do to be the paramount thing that I will do, but allowing the Holy Spirit to instruct me, to lead me, to guide me, and to tell me what to do, regardless of what my body is telling me to do. So if you are about to ask, can you still do such thing now that you have given your life to Christ? I will say no. I'm not saying I cannot make mistake because it is only God that cannot make mistake. But at this point, me trying to peep through to see who is at the other bedroom is something that I can never do at this point of my life. And then I can say I was a teenager so Aside the fact that I have not given my life to Christ, I have not known some things about life. I was not matured enough, let me put it that way. So, I will say no that I cannot do such thing at this point of my life. Number one, because I have met Christ. And the second reason is because I am growing onto maturity. If there's anything you feel you've done in the past that whenever you remember them, you just smile and give all glory to God. Because now that you are born again, you cannot do those things anymore. The Bible says, if any man is in Christ, is a new creature. All things have passed away. All things have become new. So if there's anything you've done in the past that you feel like sharing, you can tell us in the comment section below. And don't forget to place a like on this video so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people to see so that they can be blessed as well. Because there's now therefore no condemnation to them who are in Christ, who walk not after the flesh, but who is walking in the spirit. So this video is just to encourage other young believers not to continue to live according to their past, but to live in their present and in their future. And the only way they can achieve that is to forget the things of the past and move on with their life now that they are born again, so that they will not continue to live in condemnation, condemning themselves and not able to move on with their life and their journey with Christ.